In this video, we look at the limiting reactant. So the limiting reactant or reagent is the reactant that is completely used up during a chemical reaction. The reactant that is in excess is the reactant that is not completely used up during the chemical reaction. There is some of this reactant left over at the end of the reaction. So let's look at an example. How many cars can you make with four car bodies and 12 wheels? Each car body needs four wheels to make a complete car. So to make four complete cars, we'd need 16 wheels, but we only have 12. Therefore, we can make three complete cars. So we have three car bodies and we need 12 wheels. So all the wheels have been used up and we're left with one car body. So therefore, the wheels are the limiting reactant in this example, and the car bodies are in excess. All the wheels have been used up and we have one car body left over. Next, we look at a real example. A 50.6 gram sample of magnesium hydroxide is reacted with 45.0 grams of hydrochloric acid according to the reaction. Magnesium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid makes magnesium chloride plus water. And the question is, what is the maximum amount of magnesium chloride that can be produced? So the first step is to change grams to moles. So we use the equation number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. The mass of magnesium hydroxide is 50.6 grams and the molar mass of magnesium hydroxide is 58.3. So that gives us 0 0.868 moles of magnesium hydroxide. Next we'll do the hydrochloric acid. We use the same equation so it's 45.0 grams divided by the molar mass of hydrochloric acid, which is 36.5. So that gives us 1.23 moles of hydrochloric acid. So the next step is to divide the number of moles of each reactant by the coefficient. So the coefficient for magnesium hydroxide is one, and the coefficient for hydrochloric acid is two. So here we divide the number of moles of magnesium hydroxide by one, which gives us 0 0.868 and the number of moles of hydrochloric acid we divide by 2 because the coefficient is 2 and that gives us 0 0.615. And finally, the lowest ratio is the limiting reactant. So we have 0 0.868 and 0 0.615. So 0 0.615 is the lowest. So therefore, hydrochloric acid is the limiting reactant. And that means the magnesium hydroxide is excess. So now we know that the limiting reactant is the hydrochloric acid, we can determine the maximum number of moles of magnesium chloride that can be produced. So in this calculation, we need to use the limiting reactant, which in this case is HCl. So we have 1.23 moles of HCl. Now the ratio of HCl to MgCl2, according to the balanced chemical equation, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So therefore, 1.23 moles of HCl will produce half as much magnesium chloride. So we divide 1.23 divided by 2 gives us 0 0.615 moles of magnesium chloride will be produced. So the final step is to change moles to grams. And we use the equation mass equals number of moles times molar mass. So the number of moles is 0 0.615 and the molar mass of magnesium chloride is 95.21. So that gives us a total mass of 58.6 grams of magnesium chloride. And next, how many moles of magnesium hydroxide remain? So the ratio of magnesium hydroxide to hydrochloric acid is a 1 to 2 ratio. That's according to the balanced equation here. So earlier we calculated that we had 1.23 moles of hydrochloric acid. So therefore, 1.23 moles of hydrochloric acid react with half as much magnesium hydroxide because of the 1 to 2 ratio. So therefore, we react with 0 0.615 moles of magnesium hydroxide. And finally, the moles of magnesium hydroxide remaining, we calculated the initial number of moles of magnesium hydroxide, which is 0 0.868, and we subtract 0 0.615, which leaves us with 0 0.253 moles of magnesium hydroxide remaining. 